I know not of any lawful impediment. Of any lawful impediments. Why I, James Allen Nixon. Why I, James Allen Nixon. May not be joined in matrimony. May not be joined in matrimony. To Ellie Hazel. To Ellie Hazel Cooper. I do solemnly declare that I know not. That I know not of any lawful impediment. Of any lawful impediment. Why I, Ellie Hazel Cooper. Why I, Ellie Hazel Cooper. May not be joined in matrimony. May not be joined in matrimony. To James Allen Nixon. To James Allen Nixon. Do you, James Allen Nixon, take Ellie Hazel Cooper here present to be your lawful wedded wife? I do. And do you, Ellie Hazel Cooper, take James Allen Nixon here present to be your lawful wedded husband? I do. I, James Allen Nixon. I, James Allen Nixon. Take thee, Ellie Hazel Cooper. Take thee, Ellie Hazel Cooper. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. I promise to love and care for you. I promise to love and care for you. And be faithful to you always. And be faithful to you always. May we look to our future together. May we look to our future together. With hope, happiness and joy. With hope, happiness and joy. And remember in this day. And remember in this day. Never allow anything to change. Never allow anything to change. The feelings that we share for each other. The feelings that we share for each other. I promise to be loving. I promise to be loving. Faithful and loyal. Faithful and loyal. From this day. From this day forward.
Ellie, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my endless love for you. As a symbol for my endless love for you. All that I am. All that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I bring to you. I bring to you. May this ring remind us of this moment. May this ring remind us of this moment. And the commitment I have made to you. And the commitment I have made to you. As a symbol of my endless love for you. As a symbol of my endless love for you. All that I am. All that I am. And all that I have. All that I have. I bring to you. I bring to you. May this ring remind us of this moment. May this ring remind us of this moment. And the commitment I have made to you. And the commitment that I have made to you. Jamie and Ellie. You have both made the declarations required by law and you have made a solemn and binding contract with each other in the presence of your witnesses, your family and your friends all gathered here today for you. It is my privilege and indeed my absolute pleasure to tell you that you are now lawfully married. You are husband and wife, congratulations. And Jamie, you may now kiss your beautiful bride. Thank you all for being here and uh, being part of this uh, celebration with uh, uh, Jamie and Ellie. Um, it's been such a long time coming, uh, but it's been an absolutely fantastic day and uh, I'm just so proud to be the father standing here. I look down the table and I see Ellie uh, and uh, it's the, uh, literally, what can I say? Uh, as a father, I cannot believe how she's turned out today. She's done a literally uh, unbelievable. When I first saw her earlier in her room, I could not believe it was my daughter. Ellie, I'm so glad that you're officially part of the Nixons. I love you so much and I can't imagine life without you. I can't believe Daddy made such a catch. You're way out of his league. <laughs> I'm so happy. You're our officially slightly evil stepmother. <laughs> I'm so grateful for all you do for us. I can't believe how much our connection has grown over the years. It went from me not letting you hug or kiss him to now being over the moon that you're marrying him. You and Daddy fit together like a puzzle with absolutely no missing pieces. Daddy. <laughs> I've known you since birth and I really, <laughs> and I really know your type. Brown hair, brown eyes, loves monster, <laughs> and is named Ellie. First of all, the first thing I want to say though is how honoured I feel to be standing here today as Ellie's mum speaking to you all. 
And the other thing is I felt really privileged to be able to walk up the aisle with Russ. And so thank you, Ellie and Jamie, for that. I just want to say I'm so glad that Ellie and Jamie found each other, or should I say swiped right that day. Um, Jamie seems to be the perfect husband for Ellie, and I think he's made her life complete. Ellie, I'm impressed with all the things she's achieved in her life, obviously. But to be honest, I think I'm more proud of how she approaches life and what she adds to the world. My wonderful wife and I would like to thank you all for coming today. Um, a day like this wouldn't have been the same without you all being here. It would have been considerably cheaper, but we really appreciate you all coming. Ma'am, I can't put into words how proud I am to be your son. You've made me into the man I am today and I couldn't have done it without you. I have been so blessed to have grown up with you and Dad being in such a loving relationship. You make me laugh every single time I'm with you. Not always intentionally, I might add. Uh, and you put a smile on the face of every person who's around you. You welcomed Ellie into the family straight away and made life so easy for us and that's allowed us to thrive as a couple. So I feel like we owe you a lot for that. You're also an amazing nana to Charlie and Ruby and they love you more than anything. Dad would be so proud of you and I'm sure he'll be watching down on you now with a smile on his face. Love you lots. I know I've said it already, but I actually can't believe that you're my wife. You are the most beautiful woman I've ever laid eyes on, or at least I thought that until one o'clock today, and then she came down the aisle, and I was like, oh my God, she's even more amazing than she was already. I respect you, appreciate you, and I love you more than I could ever know, and I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. You are honestly the best thing that has ever happened to me. When we met, I had no direction, no confidence, and no prospects. And it's absolutely no coincidence that my life has got so much better since you came into it. You make me an infinitely better person, and I am where I am today because of you.